Hello, good morning, dear students. Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about the fuel. What is a fuel? We already discussed in the first class. A component which undergoes combustion is called fuel. What is combustion? A chemical process in which it gives out heat and light, which is called combustion. See, a fuel is a combustible substance. See. Fuel examples of fuels are petrol, diesel, even wood, cow dung. These are the examples of fuels. So, how could you take wisely if you are given with many number of fuels? Which fuel you will select as a good one? First one you will be looking for the availability. Which one is easily available, isn't it? So the first one is easily available. Oh, availability of the fuel is a com is a character or is a factor that determines a good fuel. Second one, it should be cheap. We doesn't like to give more money, isn't it? So it should be cheap also. That's an important point. Third one, it should give lot of heat, isn't it? Even if you use very little, it should give lot of heat. So it will be a good fuel then. And fourth one, it should not leave any component after combustion. For example, ash. If there is no ash, we will be happy. So we need not take them away. We need not avoid them. So a good fuel is which satisfies all these conditions which is cheap, which is readily available, which, is, uh, which gives more heat, which does not leave any undesirable component after combustion. So such a fuel is called ideal fuel. So this is a fuel of our imagination. It is not possible practically. So it is called an ideal fuel, ideal fuel. But how can we check is our fuel is almost too ideal it's, it can't be an ideal fuel the fuel that we are using in our home it can't be ideal fuel but we can check how close it, it to the ideal fuel how we can check that so this is done by looking the efficiency of a fuel efficiency of a fuel so in order to check the efficiency of a fuel, we are considering a measurement for calculating or measuring the efficiency of a fuel that is calorific value. There is specific calorific value for each fuels. Before that, fuels are three types, isn't it? They are liquid, they, are, they may be solid or they may be gaseous. You know the examples for liquid fuel, you know the examples well for solid fuel, you know the examples for gaseous fuel also. So you have to write those in the columns provided in your table provided in your textbook. Page number, let me check page number. It's page number 72. So in page number 72 you can see the uh, section, the bottom portion. You have to fill that solid fuel, liquid fuel, gaseous fuel. Now coming back, so how we check the efficiency of a fuel, how we check the efficiency of a person will give some job to him, isn't it? So we'll check whether he is doing it well or not, whether he is doing it in time or not. We are checking such, such like, isn't it? So if you want to check the efficiency of a fuel, we'll be looking how much heat does it give if we are taking only one kilogram of fuel. So we will take 1 kilogram of fuel of each substance, 1 kilogram of petrol, 1 kilogram of diesel, such like that we will take every fuel 1 kilogram, 1 kilogram of kerosene, then 1 kilogram of cow dung, 1 kilogram of wood. So this petrol, diesel, kerosene, cow dung, wood and all fuels will be taking in one kilogram each and we will make them combust. We will allow them to complete until their complete combustion and we will check how much heat does it produce. What is the heat produced per kilogram of this fuel? Heat produced by 
डीजल फोर पर किलोग्राम हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय केरोसिन फोर पर किलोग्राम विल बी चेकिंग दिस थिंग दिस हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड सो द क्वांटिटी दैट रिप्रेजेंट द हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड पर किलोग्राम ऑफ ए फ्यूल इज कॉल्ड इट्स कैलोरीफिक वैल्यू हैव यू हर्ड द टर्म कैलोरी कैलोरी समवर so it's called the calorific value calorific value where do you heard calorie the word calorie maybe you heard in your food items isn't it apple contains this much of calorie bread consists of this much calorie so calorie denotes the energy value here in the case of fuel it is heat energy so we'll be checking how much heat energy it produce how much heat energy it produces for per kilogram so heat is represented or in a unit called joule kilogram for the weight kilogram is the unit of weight and joule is the unit of heat energy joule kilojoule means as like gram becomes kilogram it is kilojoule 1000 joule 1000 joule is equal to 1 kilojoule 1000 gram equal to 1 kilogram isn't it such like that 1000 joule equal to 1 kilojoule so the calorific value is represented in a unit kilojoule per kilogram so by checking calorific value we decide is this fuel efficient or not let us check in your textbook you can see a table See here, calorific values of different fuels. You can see cow dung cake that is six thousand to eight thousand, and when we come below, it is increasing forty-five thousand, fifty thousand for methane, CNG, LPG. It is fifty-five thousand. Biogas, it is thirty-five thousand to forty thousand. What do you mean by biogas? You know, the gas that we made in our home, domestic gas. Then hydrogen. See, it is one lakh fifty thousand. so which has more calorific value obviously hydrogen hydrogen got 150000 kilojoule per kilogram for 1 kilogram of hydrogen it produces how many 150000 kilojoule of energy 1 kilogram of wood produces 70000 kilojoule of energy so this is the difference see the difference we need only very little hydrogen very little hydrogen in the case we are comparing it if we are comparing it with wood we need a lot of wood to produce the same amount of heat produced by the hydrogen isn't it so hydrogen is an efficient fuel that is why we use hydrogen mostly in the space vehicles hydrogen we require only in less quantity and produce a lot of heat also so it is a most efficient fuel in the given table isn't it Hope you understood the section. We discussed about fuels, different kinds of fuels. Ideal fuel, fuel efficiency, calorific value. What is the unit of calorific value? And the table upon some of the fuels and their calorific value. So these things we discussed today. Hope you understood the section. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.